Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book Procrastination, Why You Do It, What To Do About It Now. At the start of a new year, you make resolutions, setting goals for the coming months, losing 20 pounds, finding a higher paid job, reading 20 books, traveling to new cities, and so on. Now, most of the year has slipped past, and you find you haven't even completed half of your aims. Some you didn't even start. Another year, you procrastinated again. Procrastination is often frustrating and disempowering. Most people have these issues, putting things off to another day. The authors of this book are no exception. One of the authors Lenora Ewan purchased a tape deck. Then her friend said she could get a better quality model for less money. So Lenora bought the other tape deck. Lenora planned to return the original one but she delayed, 7 days passed, then 14 days, 1 month, 2 months, 3 months, 6 months later she finally went back to the original store to return the tape deck. The other author Jane Borka remembers the day of celebration when she finally finished the book Procrastination. Ironically, on that same day, she received two reminders. The first was for unpaid parking fines, and the second informed her that her car was long overdue for its annual inspection. You see, even admirable people procrastinate. So why do people procrastinate? What is its root cause? After considering various possible origins, the book concludes that it's not a time management problem nor a moral failing, but a complex psychological issue. Besides explaining the reasons behind procrastination, the authors also suggest a few strategies to regulate your inclinations and overcome your tendency to procrastinate. Authors Jane Borka and Lenora Ewan are both psychology PhDs and senior counselors at the University of California. In 1979 at UC Berkeley, they initiated group therapy courses for students with procrastination issues. They appeared on many TV shows such as The Oprah Winfrey Show and 2020 and were interviewed by newspapers and magazines, including The New York Times, USA Today, Los Angeles Times, The People, and Contemporary Psychology. For many years the pair have staged psychology workshops, lectured at American universities, and spoken to corporations and other public groups. Now, we'll describe the book in three parts. Part 1, The Reasons for Procrastination. Part 2, Combating Your Procrastination. Part 3, Taking Action. First, let's look at why people procrastinate. David was a top-ranking student in university. After graduation, he triumphed against fierce competition to win a position with a large law firm. He dreamt of becoming a partner one day. Although David applied himself to the job, he started putting off certain non-urgent but important tasks, such as background checks, client interviews, and producing case summaries. Why? For David, it was precisely because his desire to be a good lawyer was too strong. When he couldn't do things perfectly, he would instead not do them at all. So, if he had a tight schedule, needing to finish work at the last minute, and the results would not be satisfactory, he would simply make an excuse that he didn't have enough time. In the bookie of The Pursuit of Perfect, we noted that perfectionism is the greatest enemy of happiness. Sometimes, as in David's case perfectionism also becomes a key motivation for procrastinating. You might be wondering how can a perfectionist be someone always finishing tasks in a hurry at the last minute? How can a perfectionist sometimes fail to complete an important job? Psychologists believe that there are two types of perfectionists, one adaptive and the other maladaptive. Both have high standards. Adaptive perfectionists believe that their performance can meet their expectations. Maladaptive perfectionists doubt they will ever reach those standards. There is a discrepancy between their standards and the way they view their performance. Maladaptive perfectionists are thus prone to self-blame, depression, and procrastination. Just like David discussed earlier who abandoned activities he could not perfect, maladaptive perfectionists cannot tolerate mediocrity. They think that they should be excellent at everything even without full commitment.